warm welcome everyone and welcome back to another book review and finally we have a big book i love big books okay i know that some of you tiktok kids might be intimidated by this thick book but don't worry we got it in chapters and if you have enough self-control uh, like me <laughs> uh, you can read a chapter at the time it's not shorter also, the font size is on the bigger side, which helps with reading, but also increases the number of... This is so beautiful. Okay, okay, we have legends and lots. Okay, first of all, look at the cover art. Even the sides are beautiful. Ooh. And not just that. Look, even, even the pages themselves are arch. Look, it's, it's so freaking beautiful, like, come on. But there's not all the art. Oh no, oh no, no. no. We have th this cover art, but it's also inside. Look at this. This is so, so, so beautiful. Look at this. But that's not all. <laughs> we have another cover art. And oh my gosh, I don't know if you... This is like a blackboard. It's, it has a, like a blackboard texture. It looks like the blackboard on some uh, coffee shops and even the, the title. Oh. Uh, you, you can feel the texture of the letters. It's so beautiful. It looks like, yeah, uh, a bakery. So, you know, the, the arch outside. I, this is so beautiful. I was so excited with this book. You guys have no idea. I, I forgot more art in this book. Oh my gosh. Look inside. Look at this. These are two main characters. And this is another character. And it's adorable. Everything is so adorable in this. Because this is a cozy fantasy book. I didn't know it was a, gen uh, a gender. A genre. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I identify as a cozy fantasy. Put that up some merch. <laughs> this was written by Travis Baldry. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't, I'm sorry. Uh, during uh, National uh, November Writing Month. It's a, um, it's a challenge that every year happens. <laughs> I cannot grammar today. And where you have to write uh, 50k words, I think. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's cool. So yeah, I was like, I'm stuck in lockdown. I'm I'm gonna write this nice little book. It's also nice that they start putting little bios about the translators because we need to thank them. So thank you, Elena M. Battista, for translating this big boy. Yeah, you did a wonderful job. This. It's a lesbian love story. And yes, it's a slow burn. He has the space for it. The story and the way it's written is it's truly cozy. It really feels like being cozy under a blanket during winter with a hot chocolate or coffee to say on the theme of the book. The story is basically what if your D, &D character reaches max level because yes, that can happen and decides to retire and open a coffee shop. And that's what happens to Vive, the orc barbarian. She's the main character. She's the big woman. <laughs> she decides to quit her job as a mercenary, which I saw some negative comments on this book being like, why would she leave her job? <laughs> she has a safe job and she'd rather follow her dreams. That's weird. She goes on to open a, a bar not a bar, a coffee shop, yeah, that serves the, the new gnome drink. Coffee. Man, gnomes in this book are creative coffee, they make intricate designs, they have fridges. And... Wait. Are gnomes stands in for Italians in this book? So, uh, Viva had this gem that she got from basically a bounce monster thing. It's supposed to be an intricate lucky charm. Um, it's kind of uh, attracts people that want a change in their life, so to speak. Uh, like Tandri, the other girl on the cover, this cute little girl here. 
Can't say more without going to spoilers, so feel free to skip. Here, here. Uh, if you want to avoid them. Okay, so the first guy that Viv hires is... Well, well, his name is being translated to Catastrophe. He's an hob with tons of passion. And he doesn't get many jobs in the, the town that, where the story is set because... Races! There are lots of details about the work they do, the machines they order. It's so cool. It's just... Oh, they did this with this type of wood, they do that with this other thing, they reuse this thing. Ah, it's just so relaxing to read, okay? The next person that joins the crew is Tandri, the succubus. Uh, and she's tired of the stereotypes that come with the species. And she just wants to be herself, literally. Do you think she's dressing... I don't know, in any weird way. No, she has a, a turtleneck. She just wants to live her life. She's a wonderful artist and she has many ideas on how to advertise the cafe. And then there's a guy that comes into the cafe and flirts in very uncomfortable ways with Andre. I I heard the innuendos. He is gross. Everyone hates him. Even the bad guys are like, oh yeah, he sucks. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that put in perspective. <laughs> uh, there's also a, a giant cat. She's just hanging out, as cats do. <laughs> Last but not least to join the, the group is uh, the Ratkin. I didn't know it was a thing. I love it. His name has been translated to Spillo. Uh, hold on, let me see what his name is in English. Thimble? That's adorable. He's a baker and he creates tons of delicious recipes. Cinnamon rolls, chocolate filled croissant or cornetti, if you speak my lingo, and a recipe for cookies uh, with various nuts that is in this book. It is here. Yeah, there's also a, a guy uh, that comes into the cafe and he's like, can I play my, my instrument? He has like a electric lute, <laughs> which is hilarious and flipping cool. And he's just this giant dude who's very shy and everyone is so soft to him because he is soft. He even gets some fingers at the point. I am so happy for him. <laughs> After finally settling in, they received the visit of a guy that has her to pay for protection. He wants to kick his butt. Girl, same, same. I cannot escape the mafia even in fantasy. Hmm. Yeah, she refuses to turn him into a stain on the floor, because that will be the old Vibs way, the barbarian, the mercenary, not the coffee or the cafe owner. So she opts for a different approach. Is the police is under the control of this mafia-like group. Viv agrees to meet the leader of it all, and with her she agrees that instead of money, the payment will, the payment will be in sweets. There are also a few moments with Viv's ex-colleagues, they're fun, you love them, I, I won't spoil them for you. Except one. Uh, famous the, the, the snob elf. Ugh. Don't worry, you'll dislike him as soon as he appears, just like everyone else is. <laughs> and he decides to burn down the place to steal this freaking gem lucky charm thing. But nothing can stop Viv and Tandri. And yes, they share a little kiss. I had accidentally but the special edition and includes an interview uh, with the author, an extra story with Viv and her old crew from when she was a, still a mercenary. Uh, it's a cool story that feels like a D&G session. It, it's very nice. <laughs> it's nice to see her dynamic, their whole group. Y you can feel the vibe still in the main story if you don't want to buy this bigger version, but it's very fun, it's very nice. I know they also wrote a prequel, but it's not out in my country yet. So I have to wait.
If you have any book that you want me to review, feel free to leave a comment or suggest it to me on Goodreads. Be it a classic, a new book, or something bad to make a fun of, just specify it, please. If you are an author and you want your book to be seen, again, feel free to contact me. That's all I have for now. I'll see you all next time. Bye!